So my sister and I bought a box of camera gear at a yard sale for $40, and here's what we got. Did you know that Lonely Island? So, uh, I've got two bags here full of all the stuff in the basement that I need to go through. So let's start taking this stuff out. Now this bag is, uh, packed. Whatever this is. Two rolls of film, a Canon lens cap. So there's no Canon lenses here. A camera on adapter cap, 256 megabyte SD card and a 128 megabyte SD card. This is like maybe four raw files. It's really nothing. These are gonna go away. USB-C to USB-A adapter. That's just really useful in general. I'm just gonna keep that in my drawer here. Sony power adapter. So uh, plug-in power, I think, for a camcorder. Two remote, I'm gonna keep those. Guitar automatic electronic flash, which I think is this guy. Yep, we have a manual for this guy. Walt Disney World Mickey Mouse Joker card. That's really awesome. That's going to go in the trash. All about optics. This is really dirty. I'm going to throw that away. Mental SRT 101. We'll keep that for the Minolta. And then a guide for the Minolta SR system. just a lens book really it's really dirty I'm not gonna keep it <laughs> then we have a Canon book you know I think someone someone had a favorite camera at this yard sale and it was the Canon and they just decided to keep that one get rid of everything else let's take a look at what this goofy little thing is It's, it's sticky. <laughs> There's gunk on it. Uh, the Kodak... Kodak Pocket Instamatic 20 camera. Made in the USA. One out of like uh, seven, I think, cameras going in the trash is not bad at all. I'm gonna wash my hands. Let's take a look at the flash here. The Vitar Auto Thrustador 283. I would love to know if this works. I don't know where the power supply goes. So it's a Kodak Duoflex 2 camera. You've got I and B here. Doesn't seem to be changing anything on the lens side. There's a soft thing right here. I don't know what that is. Rotates. That's the shutter. Can pop this open, look through. There is a dead bug. That's cool. I'm not sure how this works, but if I can get inside somehow, there's a rusted screw here, rusted screw here. If I can get inside and clean out the optics, I'm sure this will actually work. Uh, it's just mechanical, I just have to fix the mechanics. Then we have this, which I believe is certainly older than the, uh, what is it, Duoflex. This is an Ansco Pioneer, made in New York. It's like a little, <laughs> fun little hand strap, that's really cute, you know. Um, I'm not gonna mess with the dials, I really don't want to damage this. Um, this is the shutter though, I know that. It's a bit stiff on the return which could be an issue. You pop this open back here, and that's the film compartment. So it says Ansco PB20 film, which I believe is 120 film. I think that you gotta take this out and put your film in there, 
and then put it back in and let's see and this rotates that huh yeah so that this dial goes into this socket which I bet rotates your film and close it back up and look at this viewfinder size look at that now we're on to digital so we have a three megapixels wow a three megapixel sony handycam it was on all this time <laughs> batteries definitely doesn't work hopefully the charger which is here works on this which does not so I'm probably just gonna sell this one because I have no use for it it's a nice, nice box and, oh oh I forgot we have something else um is this a Walkman it, it has a pen it's an SD card no it's a what is it called um memory stick I don't know what this is Klee, a Sony Klee. This is probably really embarrassing. Um, I'm a teenager in 2023, so I really don't know what the hell this stuff is. This one looks goofy. Ooh, Vivitar lens cap, who need that? All right, that works. We'll turn on camera. Ooh, it made a sound. Set the time zone, date, and time. No, I don't feel like it. 12-bit? 12-bit video? Is that even possible? Like, <laughs> at this time period? Is that possible? This is so fun. I love these dumb little things. This guy can probably be sold for about 30 bucks. All right, let's take a look at this Polaroid flash gun. Because I really don't know what it's going to look like. Bro, what? What the heck? Eject. Oh, eject the bulb. That was dumb. How does power kit deliver to this? That's just how it's gonna be for a bit. I really, I don't think I have any use for it though. I think it's a slide projector. Oh wow, the elements are just in there. They're just sitting there. Where's this go? The case is really cool though, so. If anything, the case is staying. Let's deal with this only case. Ooh, we got the book. So self-timer, shutter, very simple. Cover for the lens. You know, it's a point and shoot. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. But this is really why we're here after all. So I spent $40 at this yard sale for all of this stuff. I really would have just spent $40 for this Minolta SRT. So this is a Minolta MC Rocord PF F1.7 55mm lens. This being a 1.7 makes this my widest lens that I own now, which is really sick. These two other lenses are Vivitar. On this one we have a Sky 1A tip and filter. Very messy though. And this is a 19mm 3.8. And the glass has like one speck of dust, um, which is not an issue at all. A Vivitar 28 to 70mm f3.5 to 4.8. It looks like at 70mm we have a macro 1 to 5x. This is really strange. You, <laughs> you change the focal length by pushing. That's a bit goofy. There's also like non-linear curves here, which I, to be honest, do not understand what they're talking about one bit, but you know, that's fine. This one has a bit more dust, but it should be fine. So yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff now. Not sure what to do with most of it. Also, when we got these at the yard sale, we didn't tell my parents. So uh, this video will be the first time that they hear about this. So uh, just so you know, this will be my main camera for my phot film photography class because uh, I broke the uh, Fed 4. Um, so, and it was only $40 overall. And we'll make that much back with um, those camcorders. So really it was a net gain without lo losing much time or effort. So uh, yeah, you guys should really be happy. I also forgot completely about this. It was not hidden in the bag, so I forgot we had it. Open it up. Missing something here, not sure what it is. But we do have the camera. 
I really don't know what's going on in here, but it might actually have film, because that looks like film to me, um, in the cartridge, which is interesting. The shutter doesn't really work correctly, so I'll really have to figure out how this works in a different video. The Minolta is a keeper, uh, this really old thing is a keeper, and this is a keeper. And so is the Olympus and 3S. All the lenses I'm keeping, the camcorders will also be leaving us, but I'm gonna sell them, and that will probably make back all the money that we paid. And that projector, I'm gonna figure out what to do with you.